never never in my life have i ever given out advice for love and whatnot on this channel but i'm gonna make an exception and i'm gonna say to my little degenerates if you ever 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 get a woman who is a baddie baddie looks good got a fat ass nice titties nice eyes everything she just is the whole package but when you talk to her she's the most boring fucking person she's lame she doesn't have any hobbies to herself she takes from other people's hobbies she doesn't have an identity of her own then i'm sorry leave her immediately she is boring she's only there for eye candy and you don't need that in your life you need a woman that's actually going to compliment you and that's how i felt after playing stellar blade stellar blade is a ps5 exclusive game uh developed by um shift up uh corporations uh these guys are a korean owned uh studio uh with korean developers and i'm sitting there and i'm like you know Stellar Blade has all this controversy and whatnot. I can figure out why the fuck is everybody losing their mind over this this character design. Why is everyone talking about this game? I gotta figure it out. So I decided to play the demo. And I played the demo and I was just kind of, after beating it, I was just kind of like, really? This is what y'all arguing about? Arguing over a female protagonist looking mad sexy? When we have a game that's kind of is generic Souls game play and nothing really inspiring or interesting. Like, come on, guys. I know we struggling out here, but we ain't struggling that hard now. All right. All right? I, I just do not get it. I don't get people. And for those that don't even know the discord, basically people just arguing about the main character's design and saying that they over sexualizing women uh, and then you have the other side that's like like that's anti-woke that's like we don't want women to look uh, like realistic or whatever and make them look ugly so they're fighting back and it's like we want more character designs to look like this and it's a big ongoing war you got ign talking about the character designs with fucking trash you got literally one dude going around on on fucking new york city of all places interviewing people that clearly don't fucking play video games talking about character designs you got one lady looking like fucking Joker, Joker's fucking step cousin, talking about character designs that clearly she don't know shit about. So I'm like, guys, are we really talking about this shit? Let's talk about the fucking gameplay. And I can see why y'all arguing about this shit, because there's nothing to talk about with this game. Like I played the demo and the demo starts off with you falling, uh, have to go down to earth to beat up some aliens. The combat is literally just a Souls game with the aesthetic of near Automata's um, desert, like, ruined world. That is it. That is it. And I don't think it does any one of those things comp completely well. It doesn't have the over-the-top craziness of near Automata where you're fighting giant-ass robots and... You're trying to figure out, like, why the hell is the world like this? Uh, it amazing set pieces in Nero Automata and, like, playing around with the ideas of gaming as a whole in certain levels. And the combat system is literally a Souls game, but it doesn't have any of the responsiveness of a good Souls game. And it doesn't have any of the speed or 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 craziness that i felt even like a team ninja souls game does you know recently i just came out of you know playing a little bit of rise of the of ronin and while i don't think that game is perfect perfect by any means because i generally think like the open world is like boring as fuck I genuinely love the combat in that game. And that's a Souls game, a combat style. 
And that game combat combat scenario is very fast place uh, blocking and and uh, parrying and countering moves almost like Sakura and that's his identity and it's really fun and very flashy and it's really good um this game has none of that it's very slow pace like a regular souls game very slow pace very like very you gotta strategically know what the fuck you're gonna do but it doesn't have the responsive controls that i expect from a souls game to have in this game not only that but it tries to be near automata with the whole world being decayed and civilization has been gone to hell but it doesn't have any of the the the, the core spark that made that game interesting which was you know, you're rolling around with both 2B and 9S, and they're commenting on the world and how things were before, which this game does, but there's no hook, and that's the bingo. That's the that's the main thing. There's no hook to any of this stuff. And granted, what I've seen is based off of what I played of the demo. You know, I did see in the gameplay footage that, you know, you're going to be doing stealth sections and, and you know, doing other stuff different locales you know the combat's probably gonna get even more deeper i saw that you could have a gun um later on in the game uh and if you played the the boss rush mode like you get another um you get uh, a, a gatling gun so again i think it's going to get better but based off of what i played it wasn't really interesting it didn't do anything that made it stand on its own two feet and say hey this is a game this is what we bring to the souls genre and in a and in a, a and in a day and age where the souls genre is so plentiful i just don't know if this game is really going to stand the test of time you know i i me personally i feel like the only thing that's making this game really noteworthy is the character designs like i think that's the most the characters and also i would say the presentation of the game is really phenomenal like i was like wow like this this is a feels like a triple a game like i was very impressed like this feels like they had a lot of budget to play around with and you can feel it like you can feel it in terms of character design in terms of everything else but i just was not hooked onto anything but everyone keeps talking about Eve, and this is the thing I gotta uh, I gotta talk about with Eve's character design, because this has been a whole big fucking controversy, which I don't even get it. But at the same time, I kind of get it because ever since the whole uh, Anesia Arkesian, this this woman right here on the on the screen, ever since she made a, a a video about women in video games and how they're over sexualized and whatnot. It has been a very pushback from the video game community to have more realistic takes of women. And you can see that. Hell, one of my favorite games of last year was Spider-Man 2. And MJ in that game looks weird. And these these models who generally look really good looking and switching them and trying to make them more realistic. By, by making them realistic in their eye, they've made them more unappealing or not for um, the male gaze and everyone's been having this discussion everyone's been having this like complete backlash for for female beauty or the sexualization of women in video games me personally and i'm just gonna be very blunt when i say this i don't give a fuck about any of that i care about gameplay again i'm gonna use spider-man as a prime example i don't play spider-man to play as mj even though the MJ missions are fun, I don't play Spider-Man for fucking to, to care about MJ. I play Spider-Man to find out what Peter Parker is going through or what Miles Morales. I came for the gameplay. What is the gameplay of Spider-Man? Is, is this game going to make me feel, no pun intended, like Spider-Man? And Isomniac nails that. However, I can't deny that there is this little pushback where it's like, like every game is trying to not have super over-sexualized females. 
And then this game comes along and says, well, remember the good old days when, you know, we had God of War and there was like sex mini games and like all the girls had fucking tits out naked and shit. Well, we're bringing that back. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. I mean, Eve looks impressive. They actually got a Korean model to base her body and image on the look of Eve. And she looks really good. And I was like, wow, I could see why people like really gravitated towards the look. Having said all of that, I think my biggest issue with this whole controversy over the sexualization is that you guys are so focused on this look and this feel of this character that y'all forgot the main thing that really counts is the character interesting you know from what i played in the demo and i'm again my whole opinion of of stellar blade is going off that demo because that's supposed to be getting me invested in your game there's nothing that makes he stands out like in terms of a character like i don't know what really she wants i don't know anything about this character not even a glimpse you know at the first opening of bayonetta you already know what she wants you know to get her memory back or figure out her place in, in life i didn't feel that with eve at all like 2b despite 2b being boring or bland she had 9s to help balance her out and as you play through the game, and again, you can't go off this demo, but as you play through the game, you realize like she's holding back a lot of feelings about 9S as she's going back. And as you find out later on, you find out why she's doing doing that. And it's really good. With Eve, I didn't get a sense of this character at all. I, I guess she's a rookie robot, um, rookie android woman. Like, that's that's cool enough. But again, there was nothing to hook me to her. And so many people are so focused on the how over-sexualized she is. And I'm just sitting there like, motherfucker, like, who gives a shit? All right. This is not the most important shit about the character. Let's find out what makes her a compelling character that you want to keep going. I wouldn't have followed, you know, Ellie from The Last of Us if Ellie wasn't interesting in some form or facet you know i wouldn't follow again samus if i didn't find her gameplay to be so compelling in the metroid games you know you have to you can looks can only take you but so far in life yeah this there's something called the pretty privilege syndrome but th th there's way more to life than just being pretty. And I just feel like Stellar Blade is just all prettiness, but nothing to really say. Nothing really interesting to really say or do. And, I, and it's a shame, you know? And I think that the people who are defending the game or defending the look of the character, I think, you know, I think it's kind of weird as well. I think both sides are weird. Like, you have people defending the look, which I'm just kind of like, oh, okay, that's great. But I'm like, can you tell me anything about this character that makes her compelling? And you got people who's bashing the look. Now I'm like, guys, like, there's tons of fucking video games nowadays where the female protagonists are looking normal. What's the problem with having a character or female that looks sexy and confident in her beauty and she wears revealing clothes and whatnot you mean to tell me there's no female there's no females in real life that look god dead drop dead gorgeous <laughs> that's a lie <laughs> that's a lie that is that is weirdly weird lie there are plenty of females hell there's females that that i know personally that would love to to play as 9s or would love and cosplay as these female characters that look over the top sexy because they just want to feel sexy some females just want to feel sexy and want to want 
to be portrayed sexy you know it's just some guys some of us motherfuckers are fat ugly and shit but we want to play as the hero that looks charming and whatnot look at fucking kratos i mean old i mean young kratos i mean greek mythology kratos like young man kratos this man was gooped up and was ready to kill motherfuckers 24 7 it was fucking awesome back in the day this guy was fucking bitches tearing off cyclops heads and shit like this guy kratos was badass but i think we all knew as men we would never look or be like kratos <laughs> <laughs> we will never look like that and i just find it interesting how when it when it comes on to how guys are over sexualized like with especially in the final fantasy games like look at clive clive literally ha has man titties that be poking out and shit and he looks like a fucking he starts off looking like a pretty boy but then he looks like a handsome chad like and you know no one complains about this no one complains. No one sits there and be like, oh my god, I don't like the, the sexualization of, of Clyde Rossfield. Or the sexualization of of Cloud and how skinny he looks. and But he could pick up a big ass sword and shit. And he looks like a pretty boy. Like, no one gives a fuck about that when it's a man. But as soon as you do shit to a woman, oh, it's, a, it's a whole big story. And it's just like, bro, both sides are weird about this shit, bro. It's fine. It's fine. I want. I want to look. Sometimes I just want to look at a girl's ass. I, I just want to look at a girl's ass. I want to just stare at that ass. But then there's sometimes where I just want a girl that's just like, hey, like, I generally want to know what this char female character is doing. Like, is that so hard? <laughs> at the end of the day, none of that is important. At the end of the day, it's all about the gameplay. Is the gameplay fun? You wouldn't been had connected to um, Kratos' journey if motherfucker Kratos' gameplay, if God of War gameplay was not fucking cool. You would have not connected with anybody from Final Fantasy VII if you didn't find the story and the characters to be compelling. You wouldn't have cared about Peter in Spider Man's 2 struggle with the death of Aunt May and how that is influencing him to use the black suit if it wasn't for the fact that the gameplay and the writing is well told so at the end of the day and i'm gonna wrap up this video i think when it comes on the stellar blade while i don't think it's a horrible game while i don't think it is garbage i don't think it does anything anything special or unique to really set itself out from other Souls-like games. Hell, even Fallen Order does a Souls-like game way more interesting than this game. At the end of the day, people are arguing and bitching and crying about Eve's character design and how over-sexualized she is. When both sides should be really focusing on the gameplay. And is the gameplay fun? And is the gameplay good enough to to want you to purchase a seventy dollar fucking video game? And so far, for what I played, I am not impressed. I can save my seventy dollars, eighty, because I always purchase deluxe edition for another game. And this whole controversy stuff is sad. And at the end of the day, when the game comes out. And the game either succeed or not we're all gonna move on to the next big game so for everyone that's bitching or defending this game y'all got bigger shit to worry about than how eve look with that being said i'm gonna bring the video to an end uh let me know in the comment section what you think about stellar blade are you enjoying it if so what type what are you enjoying about it and what do you think about the whole controversy about over-sexualizing in video games? Comment below, let me know on it. And as always, more videos are coming soon. It's your boy, Mr. Degenerate, signing out. Have a good one.